Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Dr. B. Um, let's, let's talk about the 6502's logic and bit manipulation instructions today. First thing to notice, all the, the instructions like this in, in the 6502 are bitwise instructions, uh, which if, if you need a non-bitwise version, the bitwise will suffice for that in most cases. Um, let's start with the AND. Um, the, the AND instruction takes a single argument that is um, a byte, just like most, most things do, and it takes that byte and it performs a bitwise AND with whatever's in the accumulator. So uh, just first point out that in my example here, I'm using the nomenclature for representing a binary constant uh, in assembly. So percent followed by uh, the, the eight uh, binary digits. Uh, it just makes it easier to see what we're doing here with our, our bitwise manipulation. You don't have to use that with ends and ors and other bitwise operators. It just helps for uh, these, uh, these examples. So in this one, I'm starting by loading uh, 0011 into the uh, accumulator. So that's, the, that's what it's going to have in it. Note that the LDA sets the N and Z flags. Uh, in both cases, they're going to be zero. Um, and then I have an AND, uh, giving it a constant with a, the pound sign, and a, a percent for binary constant, 0010100. And if you do the bitwise AND between those two things, you should get uh, that value in the, the register. And then we've, got, you know, we've talked about bitwise AND before, so the math shouldn't be new. We're just now seeing it implemented um, in assembly code. Uh, and also, we'll, we'll set the N and Z flags if, if needed. So let's look at an example of what we can do with this. Um, one really useful thing that, that we can do with ANDs is clear, in other words, set to zero, one or more bits of a value. So the, the situation here is we have a, an 8-bit value in the accumulator, <clears throat> excuse me, and we want to ensure that certain bits are set to zero. Now, we don't care what the others are. We just want to make sure certain bits are set to zero. So what you would do is create a bit mask uh, where all bits are set to 1 except the one we want to make a 0 and put that in an AND. So in this case, we, we're going to make sure bit 5 is set to 0. So if you look at the math, here is, let's assume this is what was in the accumulator. We give it 1101111, and the result is the same as the original with bit 5 set to 0. So performing an AND like this will guarantee that bit 5 is 0. We, we see um, things like this, uh, for example, in TCP IP uh, headers, uh, when, you're, when you're sending those packets, uh, particularly the TCP uh, header itself has um, several uh, flags packed within a single byte, and we have to be able to extract them sometimes and look at them or set them uh, as needed. All right, let's look at the OR version. This one is OR with accumulator. So uh, same idea as the bitwise AND, except now it's a, it's a bitwise OR. So once again, I'm loading a value into my A register, and I'm calling OR with accumulator with uh, some number, and again, I'm showing it as bits. And everywhere there is a 1 in the OR, we'll set that to 1. Um, and then anywhere there's a 1 in the accumulator already, we'll set that to 1. So if you do the bitwise OR between those two, this is what you should get. Now, an example of, of what we can do uh, with a bitwise OR here. Um, if there are situations where we want to ensure a bit is 1, we can use uh, OR with accumulator. So here an example, I want to ensure that bit 5 gets set to 1 in my accumulator. So I have all zeros in my bit mask except for bit 5, which is set to 1. I do that with OR accumulator. 
and you can see something like this where say we had a, a, uh, this value in our accumulator we give it that bit mask where only um, bit one is set or bit five is set to one uh, do a bitwise or and in our result we ensure that bit has been set to one again similar to with with, with and in the accumulator, um, this works in scenarios like again, like TCP/IP, where we want to ensure certain flags in those headers are are, are set appropriately. Um, the other bitwise operator is the EOR, or the bitwise exclusive OR. Um, if you recall from the earlier lecture, uh, lecture, uh, exclusive OR gives us a zero if its operands are the same. So whether 0, 0 gives me a 0, 1, 1 gives me a 0. And it only gives me a 1 if the operators are different, the 0 and 1 and the 1 and 0 cases. So again, with our example, we load in something into the uh, accumulator and I perform a uh, bitwise exclusive or only the positions that had um, different values get set to 1. So what? What's, what's this good for? Well, so far the only thing I found it good for is to perform a not operation. I'm sure there's other, other scenarios out there that I'll figure out as I encounter them, but um, the main thing here, 6502 does not have a bitwise not instruction. So that equivalent of the tilde in Java, which would invert uh, all your bits, we don't have that. So if we want to, um, uh, sorry, I just had a power outage at the house. Fortunately, I'm on battery. Um, if I want to uh, perform a bitwise knot, um, you can exclusive or with all ones. So watch what happens. We have a Assume this value is in my accumulator. I do bitwise uh, with all my ones. One one gives me zero. One one gives me zero because those types of things are the same. Zero ones give me one. Zero one give me one. One one zero. One one zero. Um, zero one gives me one. One one gives me zero. Uh, and if you notice, this is the inverse of that. All right, I'm going to um, pause for a minute. I want you to uh, try to write this exercise, um, work through it, and see if you can write the code that will check to see if bit four of the accumulator is set to one. Uh, and the hint is write it so that the Z flag is set to zero if, if bit four is set to one. All right, you back. All right, here's the solution, and it's fairly simple. Um, hopefully, you came up with something similar. So, assuming we have something in our accumulator and it with a bit mask where bit four is is one and all the other bits are zero, and after that, branch to whatever comes after the 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 code. We can work through it like this. So we start. Uh, there's something in the accumulator. In one scenario, bit four Four, and that should actually be. Oh wait, I had it right here. Oops, pardon me. Had it right here and not right here. Ah, bit four. If I, no, sorry. Oh, that's what's wrong. There needs to be an extra zero there. I knew something was off about this. There we go. Now it's correct. Uh, so in this case, if um, if bit four is one and we do an and with a one there, our result is going to come out to to be this. Now it doesn't really matter what this result is, but what we know is that it's zero. Or, sorry, it, it is not zero. 
pardon me, the Z flag is set to zero, meaning our branch, if not equal, will bounce to bounce past the uh, go to our, our our Zelda whatever whatever code we need to go to next. Let's look at the other side. If we do an and with bit four set to one, and the accumulator had a, a zero in bit four. That's going to give us an accumulator value of zero itself, setting the Z flag to one. In that case, we don't branch. So we'll use our, our branch on not equal will get skipped over and we'll execute whatever code comes next. All right, a few other things. We, we talked about some, some shifts in, uh, in the earlier lecture. Um, and again, you know, we have those available uh, in some form or fashion, 6502. The first is arithmetic shift left. It shifts everything left by one bit, um, shifts a zero into bit zero, and bit seven goes out into the C flag. So it performs about like we, we expect from the early thing, uh, with the oddity that uh, whatever was in bit seven goes into the C flag, the carry. And um, we can do this on accumulator this way. So we have to be very specific in this case to put a, um, an A where the operand goes. You can do it directly on a memory location. Uh, you can do it on an indexed, uh, X index memory location, probably a Y indexed as well. Um, There's sev several styles. I've just listed them out here. Uh, similarly, we can do a logical shift right. Um, so this is a, a non-signed right shift. Uh, everything is shifted right by one bit. We get a zero into bit seven. Um, bit zero goes into the C flag. And the, the, op, or the, the code for these are similar to what we saw with uh, arithmetic shift left. Those two are easy. The other two are, are kind of weird, and honestly, I don't know of many use cases for these yet. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm sure I'll find them the more 6502 I write, um, but uh, 6502 has these, notation, these notions of rotation. So ROL is a rotate left. We also have an ROR, which is the rotate right. And what these are going to do, uh, so again with the rotate left version, shifts all bits one to the left. The um, carry bit goes into bit zero, and uh, bit seven shifts out into the carry. So if you think about uh, this as a nine bit value, carry being the, being the high bit, rotate everything one bit to the left, and then that carry bit wraps around to, to bit zero. So here's a, an example. Uh, let's say I start with my carry at zero, so I put in a, a clear carry there. Um, I load a value into my uh, accumulator, and I rotate left uh, the accumulator. So notice that the carry bit shifts in, to the, the, the LSB, the least significant bit, and the most significant bit shifts into the carry, and everything else shifts over to the left once. And the right rotate does, this, does the same thing in reverse. Carry shifts into the high bit, low bit shifts into the carry. So last exercise of the day. Um, pointing out that there is no arithmetic right shift in 6502. If I want to perform one, um, it has to be done with some combination of these uh, instructions and other instructions that we know. So pause right now, work on this exercise, see what you can come up with, and then we'll finish up with me explaining my example. Okay, here's the solution I came up with. You may, you may have gotten something different. Um, as long as it works, it's okay. Um, let me talk you through this one, though. So we have a value in our accumulator that we want to uh, perform an arithmetic shift right. 
In other words, we're going to shift in a, a zero um, if the most significant bit is zero. We're going to shift in a one if the most significant bit is one. So we, we've loaded this in. Note that the, Z, the N flag, the negative flag, is going to be set to zero um, if this number is positive. So if it's already positive, let's jump to the positive number case. And in that case, let's assume, let's be, actually not assume, let's be explicit in saying we want to shift in a zero. So set, it, uh, set the carry to zero and do a right rotate so that carry gets uh, shifted into the, the high bit. And then we're done. Going back though, let's assume that the accumulator was a negative number, meaning the high bit was a one here. Branch on positive is going to get skipped over and we're going to move um, to the case where we have to shift in a 1. Um, so it, let's set the carry. That's what will happen here. It'll set the carry to 1. And again, we'll do a uh, rotate right, meaning we'll shift that 1 into the high bit, um, and then we'll, we'll be done. So once that happens, we need to jump over the positive number uh, case to, to the done. And this could code could be embedded in, in your code, you know, in any case, place where you need to, to perform that arithmetic right shift. All right, that is it for today. As always, if you have questions, uh, let me know, and uh, of course, we'll talk through this in class some as well.